Hi guys, welcome back to Simplistic Mystic. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Sagittarius for May 2024. Alright, this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what fits, leave the rest, and characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. Alright. Sagittarius, May 2024. Hermit. You may be in hermit mode or someone else may will be being in hermit mode a lot lately, reflecting on things, going within about um, things they've been dealing with. Hold on, I think erotic. Um, so the hermit kind of talks about going within and, uh, you know, healing and reflecting on things that happened and maybe how you handled things in the past. Um, also could just represent kind of being alone. Three of Cups, okay. So someone could add mul multiple options here. Third party situation, that's usually what I take the Three of Cups as. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, that feels the very opposite though. Like Ten of Pentacles, it's maybe someone that wants their cake and to eat it too or whatever that saying is. Um, it's like maybe they want this Ten of Pentacles, they want this marriage, happy family life, but maybe there's, you know, have had third parties in the past. Um, and maybe they're, maybe they're reflecting on it. Maybe they're realizing that that was wrong before. Queen of Cups, that fell out earlier. Could be dealing with a water sign or someone could maybe be in their emotions right now. What's this Three of Cups? Four of Cups. Someone could be rejecting a third party or maybe rejecting the idea of having third parties or multiple partners or things like that. Maybe someone used to do that. And maybe someone is like, you know, I no longer want to live that lifestyle. Maybe I just, maybe I do want one person. Maybe I'm ready. Um, third party. Okay. Uh, what else is going on? Sagittarius, May 2024. The player just flipped. This player energy here. Faded meeting. Someone may meet someone. Also, could be dealing with a Scorpio because that came out in the same position for Scorpio. Um, someone could be meeting someone in like a synchronistic manner. For the crossroads, this is a decision. And it's possibly between two people. Or maybe, yeah. Finances. Someone could be focusing a lot on finances. This could also be uh, a decision um, about a job or a business or career or something like that. Or maybe this doesn't have to do with love at all. Maybe it's just someone trying to figure out what path to take financially speaking. Maybe someone's been very focused on money in the past and not love. What else is going on? Sagittarius, May 2024. Sagittarius, May 2024. Hold on. Someone could be listening to a lot of music right now. Maybe that's kind of what they're doing in their hermit mode. Maybe they're kind of letting music help them process things that have happened in their past. I might dig, dig back more into this, but let me pull a, full, a few other oracle cards. In the hand. The universe is your partner. Sky dancers. Surrender. Okay. Come on. In the hand. Feeling secure, taking care of the universe as your partner. Something amazing happens when you contemplate your intimate relationship with your higher power. How do you engage it? Perhaps you might have seen things through the influence of your religious background or may have been exposed to other ways of making that connection real for you. It doesn't matter the source of your understanding. What matters is what works for you. For example, if you believe in a 
repetitive God, you will be afraid of punishment for your transgressions. If you believe in a version of higher power that blesses you, you may find it easier to surrender to a relationship of radical trust. This is about, this feels about like believing in the universe. Maybe the believing that the universe will guide you maybe to what you're meant to have. Yeah, well, and then surrender card. It's like letting go, maybe letting, maybe, maybe stop being so, maybe this is someone that's like stubborn to maybe make a decision or get, or go down a certain path. And it's like, they don't, they're having trouble making that decision. And it's like, almost like maybe this person needs to let go a little bit and let the universe kind of guide them to where they're supposed to go. Um, this, I think a lot of these readings have been about like divine intervention and tower moments and things like that. This feels like this could be something like that. Like this is a person that's kind of maybe being stubborn and not taking the path that's for their highest good. And the universe may step in and um, intervene here. Liberation from attachment, surrender. When a sky dancer's card appears, she is inviting you to welcome the deepest power of feminine to, to your life. You have already overanalyzed your situation to exhaustion. That's kind of what I was feeling with this too. Um, now is the time to invite the sacred feminine, the wisdom within your heart, no matter your gender, to guide you to success. Maybe being more feminine and loving and open to things. Um, if you become earthbound, plotting and planning and praying for change, cease and desist. Break the habit of being yourself, of repeating the same behavior and hoping for a different outcome. Stop trying to figure it all out and stop overthinking and surrender. So maybe stop, maybe get yourself out of hermit mode, maybe get yourself out of your brain and overthinking about maybe making a choice, maybe making a choice about a person. Maybe you're having too many, oh, well, if I pick this person and then this will happen, or if I pick this person, then this would happen, and I don't know which person makes the most sense for me, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, maybe listen to your heart a little more. Um, okay. more about this three of cups tell me more about this three of cups roll the dice take a chance taking a chance on a particular person possibly i don't know why i'm playing another card unexpected what is this crossroads what is this crossroads divine timing a lot of divine timing here maybe it's like it's like this person's date maybe this person's like almost trying too hard to force their life to be a certain way like i was saying being stubborn it's like forcing maybe a certain um life they envision for themselves in their head they're like i want this to be my life blah 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 maybe they're not being flexible um it's funny because another reading out, I think it was actually the last reading. I was saying like, don't be too particular. Like, you don't. There's, you can be particular. In what I was saying in the last reading, but this almost feels like the opposite. This feels like kind of like take a, take a step back. Um, it's like maybe you don't need to be so analytical about a decision and kind of just let the universe guide you. Follow your heart here. Maybe be more like I was saying. Be more in your feminine energy. Be more in your loving romantic type of energy than like a I need to decision make and I need to analyze all of this but anyway we had the four of cups so we're rejecting the three of cups rejecting a third party situation someone may offer someone to be in a third party situation and they say no I don't know all right Alright. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. What? Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So don't make a decision. Again, we're talking about decisions. <clears throat> don't make decisions based on, like, if you feel it, you feel, don't make a decision based on, like, obligation or something. Or you don't want to hurt a particular person or something.
friendship. Nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will drastically improve. I don't still quite don't understand the main gist of this reading. Like what it was the point of this reading? What was the point of this reading? Like what is the overall overarching theme? Eight of Swords. Trapped in your head, yeah. So someone's over analyzing, over stressed about something. They've been like going within and like e beating themselves up over something or possibly about a decision. Okay. So someone's trapped in their head in hermit mode, reflecting, over analyzing. But tell tell me more. The lovers. Okay. So the lovers can often represent a choice between two people. Um, so maybe it's like someone's trying to decide between two people or maybe it doesn't always, it doesn't always have to be between two people. It just could be decision regarding love. Um, but with the three cups, it could be two people or maybe whatever. Um, but this, this feels like the type of person that, like I hear a lot of people say like, um, like, oh, basically, like, saying, like, your life is over when you get married. And I'm like, I don't understand that. I don't know why people take marriage as, like, oh, well, my life's over. And now that I'm married, this sucks. Like, it's, like, why is that perceived that way? Like, that's why, like, people, but some people don't want to get married because they like, think that means their life's over. But, like, that don't view it that way. Like, that doesn't mean your life's over. That doesn't mean that you can't do anything outside of the marriage. Not in, like, a sexual manner, but I mean, like. You know, you have still have a life. You can still go out. You can still have fun. Like it's not like that's not like the death of you to be with someone. You know what I mean? Anyway, so this definitely feels like someone that's like very over analyzing either the choice between two people or choosing to just be with someone at all and open up and have a have emotions. Um, but this, like, very much trapped in the head here. But it's like, they may encounter a situation that they almost can't avoid, like, following their heart or believing in synchronicities and things like that, because it's just, like, so obvious. I don't know. Still not quite getting the whole... This reading's been too long. The overall gist of this... Seven of Pentacles. It's like, waiting. It's like, they're waiting for something. It's like, they don't even know what they're waiting for. I have no idea what to tell this reading. <laughs> Trapped in their head over a choice. I don't know. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video. And subscribe so you can be notified when I post future videos. If you want to follow me on Instagram. Why do I, oh my god, I keep saying Instagram. If you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, they're all linked below. Most of them are just at Simplistic Mystic. We got TikTok, Instagram and facebook and things like that so uh that's all down there and if you're also interested in this love oracle deck this is available on amazon and etsy and um, i'll see you guys next time